Take the target off your back. This lesson will show you why you're a target, how to be less vulnerable to attacks. If you're watching this, it probably means you're a college student. That means you're likely in a demographic that is heavily targeted for identity theft. There are a number of reasons why identity thieves love to prey on you. College students generally live in tighter living arrangements with people that they don't know, which makes theft easier. Because of these tight living arrangements, college students will often escape to libraries, cafes, or other public places to study. And when they do that, they bring their laptops and use public, possibly unsecured, internet connections. College students frequently need to disclose personal information. Student loan borrowers complete the FAFSA annually, submit loan applications, register for classes using personal information, and store that important documentation. College students move more frequently than most people. It's not uncommon for vital paperwork to be discarded inappropriately or to be shoved in an unsecured box while you move. Also, depending on where you live, you may have to complete paperwork and have credit checks for each new housing arrangement. College students frequently use their personal accounts online and therefore share more information. They commonly have multiple social media and email accounts. Although you might be a target, you don't have to be an easy target. Here are 10 ways to help keep the identity thief from getting to you. One. Get a shredder. All junk mail and documents that have personal information get eaten by the shredder. Two, avoid submitting personal information over unsecured public networks. Three, if you live with several roommates or in a dorm setting, bring valuable documents to a place where they're safe. For many college students, that's their parents' home. But if you don't have that option, consider a safe deposit box or see if your school has options. Four, limit what you share online. Five, Leave your social security card locked up at home. 6. Don't use public computers to bank or pay bills. 7. Frequently change the password on your phone, computer, and tablet. 8. Check your account statements monthly and have them delivered to your secure email account. 9. Use the school's virtual private network if you need wireless internet whenever possible. 10. Do not give personal protective information over the phone, especially in places people could hear. These small, simple steps will help you be less vulnerable to identity theft attacks. Thanks for taking the target off your back.